It is the touchline here on Y254. Now for your fan favorite, the fan zone. And we are to talk about some of the matches that will be coming your way today. We've got Leicester versus Arsenal early kickoff, but also Manchester United against Tottenham on the late kickoff. How those matches will go, we'll be talking about them. But we're going to talk about some of the talking points that have come your way this weekend. And one man who people predicted will not make it to December or January has got to be Ronald Koeman who was actually sacked yesterday and now Barcelona is actually in shambles. Joining us here on the fan zone to talk about everything that is happening in football, Maureen Mudoni. How are you, Maureen? I'm great. I'm it's great. How are you? Hey, I'm <laughs> After COVID, even Sam is in Jamuana for two years. Yeah, yeah, at least we are back now. It, yeah. it, it, it's hard to take on Manchester United drafting for <laughs> <laughs> For you to come back. Well, to come back. <laughs> yes. Those things need to start happening. Yes. It cannot continue like this. Yes. <laughs> and Eric Agania is also <laughs> here with us today. Eric, you were sitting there when you predicted it. Lazima to touch up over. I thought it would be a 2 1 or a 3 1. But I didn't. I, you know, Liverpool, they don't understand jokes. We were just jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't that serious. <laughs> they they don't understand jokes. They don't understand jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, they've made our week to be very tough. Yes. On social media, you can't People, <laughs> the streets are quiet. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Cut us off Liverpool. Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Kiburi, I'm saying. <laughs> but let, let, before we talk about Manchester United and everything, Ronald Koeman also has been sacked by Barcelona. So it's got to be tough for Barcelona at the moment. Um, Robert, we could see Barcelona's downfall coming gradually. It's only that it had not come out as strongly as it has right now. Yeah. Uh, you would you'd get back their troubles from way back when Messi was refusing to negotiate a contract and nobody was really trying to pin down the problem in that in that midfield. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had the, the issues of the elections of the presidency when Joseph had to go and then we have Laporta comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, Barcelona has had problems with their books, they're in financial crisis. Mm -hmm. People are trying to control that by you know selling the expensive players uh, getting players to train get a salary cut to cut but these players are not going to do that mm -hmm. uh, so you bring in common i think it was like last year in august in the middle of these shambles and you're trying to get this coach to get these things going uh, what 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 profile did common have coming into 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 barcelona it, it I is, mean, what was his profile? What, <laughs> what was the criteria that, that was bringing? He's a legend, just like Oleg. It is going legend. to be a problem, Eric, he, he, yeah. because uh, boys club, yeah. that's how it comes out. Eh? Yes, yeah. I'm your boy, I'm your guy, I give you a job. Laporta so common, like, hey, this is my 92 captain, captain yeah. who won the Super Cup with us, can help us. But, but, but I think I, I have to agree with Maureen, uh, more of Barcelona's problems were off the field, uh, uh -huh, more yes. in the boardroom, because yeah. you, lo you look at uh, uh, the past maybe three or four seasons, they abandoned their culture of nurturing young talents from the academy, yes. bringing them up. They started making panic buys. Panic buys that they didn't need. They yes. bought Osman Dembele, who is really fit. They bought Griezmann. Uh, they had to sell him again. Mm -hmm. So you don't really understand. They bought Griezmann when they have Messi. Yes. So Griezmann does not does not fit, does not belong, and. Uh, they didn't manage the transition of, uh, you see, the strength of Barcelona has never been in their defense. It has been in their midfield and attack. Mm -hmm. Look at the midfielders who left. Yes. We have Xavi, we have Iniesta, we have Bas uh, Sergio Busquets who is aging and very slow. Yes. We have Messi who had to go. Now, who came in to replace these players? You cannot have a tangible player. Maybe the one who has remained there is Aguero. Aguero is also aging yes. and uh, injury prone. And uh, you find that that is where the problem comes in. And Kuman, even when he was coming in, he was set up to fail. And we said it here. Yes. Uh, he's not going to last. Yeah. And uh, Barcelona are in trouble. For the next three or four seasons, they are going to suffer. Yeah. And we've seen that. That transition uh, 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 took time in Liverpool. Yeah. They had to go through a series of coaches to get it right with Klopp. Look at what Manchester United is going through. They're the same, same. So Barcelona should watch what Manchester United goes through and prepare themselves for that. <laughs> good, good that you have brought in Manchester United because that was my next point, actually. Also in trouble, Laguna Solskjaer might not make it to December. 
oh, this breaks my heart <laughs> in totality. It breaks my heart so bad to see that. Yes. It's been, it's almost a decade now, and we yes. have not gotten any decent thing going on for Manchester United, and it might get worse. Honestly, it might yeah. get worse. Uh, I'm looking at a team and a coach who I think were the most spenders in this transfer window. They brought in Sancho, they brought in Varane. Uh, we Cristiano. We brought in Cristiano, and this is a team that is not even gelling up to po up to today. Uh, we were thrashed five nil by Liverpool. Yes, that even hurts more than what else could be. <laughs> uh, I mean, I do not understand why uh, yes. we have no proper structure at this uh -huh. moment because yes. if I'm to pin down our problems, uh, besides the players, besides the coach, it is the structure that the co the coach Oleguna and his tactical bench are trying to to bring out. Yes. What structure do we have? Uh -huh. Sancho has come in. How many games? How many minutes has he got? Mm -hmm. Almost, ne almost none. I don't know whether it's yes. another up to to a, a full game. Yes. Uh, we brought in Varane, right? We are trying to get our, our defense going because Harry Maguire has been shambolic. Will always be shambolic. Their communication with Show on that game was horrendous. They almost costed us all those goals. Uh, you're trying to look at our midfield. We cannot, and I have said this, and I'll say it again. You cannot have Fred starting every game in this in this in this in this football club. Mm -hmm. What if you you clean Fred with McTominay? Yes. Because that is that is just shambolic. Look at I look at a, a, a defensive midfielder like Kante. Look at a player when Kante comes into 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 a game, you're almost certain this is a midfield that is going to be properly controlled. Uh -huh. If it's Kovacic who is there, this is a midfield that is going to be properly controlled. Uh -huh. If you go to City, you look at a player, he's even aging. But when Fernandinho is there, if it's Rodri, that game gets controlled. Uh -huh. You cannot have Fred controlling your, your midfield from the back. If you have Pogba, yes. he didn't start that, that other game, and I'm glad, because it could have been shambolic, it could have been worse, because, and get, me, get this, Pogba is an excellent player, that one I will not doubt. Yes. But the problem we have is Oleguna does not appear to know in what position should Pogba play. Yes. If he plays, he plays in the wrong position, yes. that gets worse. Today we play Tottenham, mm -hmm. we do not have Pogba's headache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Felix, to ask my question next, but I was going to combine them with Barcelona and ask, who will be fit enough for Manchester United? Because Solskjaer is not good enough for Manchester United. You see, uh, in football, you have a coach who assembles a team, <laughs> and uh, we have a coach who wins trophies. You saw what happened at, uh, at Chelsea. Yes. Lampard assembled 90% of that team. I brought in kids from the academy uh, into, the, into the, 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 the first team yes. and uh, made most of the buys. But he was not good enough to win trophies. I think the structure, the hierarchy at Manchester United should have realized by now, Olegana is not good enough to win trophies. Why? Because he's not, he doesn't have the balls to make the hard decisions, uh -huh. the tough decisions. Look yes. at Olegana Sosia since he came. He has not sold anyone. He has Jones on the payroll, yes. who barely played even one season. What are you still having there? Why are you still having him there? So he's the nice guy. Yeah. In football, you have to be ruthless. Look at Klopp. He's very ruthless. Look at uh, Pep. Pep. Pep is ruthless. Tuchel. Tuchel once put in a player. 15 minutes, the player didn't perform. Out. Do you him? Yeah. Does Olegana have that? No. He cannot make... He, he doesn't have the guts to bench Maguire, who is operating at 50%, and bring in Bailey who is at 100%. Hmm. You see, because, simply because this is your captain, you're yeah. not going to win trophies. So Manchester United now need a coach because the squad has been assembled. We have a good squad, relatively better than what we had last season because you brought in Varane to, to, to the defense, you brought in Sancho to the attack. The, the right-hand side has been a problem for Manchester United. And then we brought in uh, Cristiano for experience and he's a non-goal scorer and he has scored. Yes. But we have been scraping by. Look at the games we've played against Villarreal. Scraped by. Look at Atalanta. And people got carried away. What happened when we played Leicester? And I, I listened to Brendan Rodgers. Yeah. Brendan Rodgers said, it was very simple. Manchester United were not pressing. And if you're not pressing, you're adding pressure to the defence. Yes. And if you're adding pressure to the defence, there will be mistakes. Olegana does not know how to manage the 90 minutes in a game. He's poor in timing of his substitutions mm -hmm. and uh, we need a coach who can manage and that is when now you get in seasoned wi uh, winners like Conte 
Conte's name being thrown in there, like Zinedine Zidane. Personally, I'll go for Conte because already he has the Premier League. He has managed in the Premier League. He understands what the Premier League needs. Nice. You see, as compared to Zinedine Zidane, he's also good. He's a good tactician. But he will take time to learn the, the Premier League. But Conte already understands that. And the sooner the better, because uh, uh, the beating will continue. Uh, um, I, it's so sad to say that, but it will continue. Yeah, Look at the games coming. that we have. We have Tottenham. <laughs> Next, we have Atalanta. We have Man City. Yes. We have Chelsea. We have Chelsea. Yeah. How, many, how many points are we going to pick there? And mm -hmm. the problem is, we are going to play Tottenham today. Yes. We have a manager who is hanging loose by a thread. Such that we are hoping, or every other person is hoping, that Manchester United can beat Tottenham so that uh, Ole Gunnar's job can be guaranteed. That is not an attitude you want to be taking to, to mm. big games. To big games. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to face a terrible one month. Before the international break in November and even after the international break, we're going to be horrendous if we do not make that decision right now. Tottenham has also its own problems, but um, we have to focus on why are we not performing? Yeah. We, have, we have a proper we have a proper setup, we have a proper team, we have the right players. It's only that the person who is coaching these players, the person who is speaking this team, does not appear to have the right technical uh, advice. Whether he's not, he's not, he's not uh, bringing in the players' mentality right for the game, the players can also be sabotaging the coach, who knows. Um, we have Conte contesting for this job. We have Zidane out there looking forward to getting this job. Conte has Premier League experience. Mm. Uh, look at what he did with Chelsea over such a short period of time. If you want instant results, and I know this because people will argue that Conte is not um, a long-term solution. Who said we need a long-term solution? <laughs> right now, things, things are urgent. You need we trophies. Need, we need instant trophies. Yes. Uh, we tried and brought in uh, Mourinho because we were thinking, uh, instant success, fine, we got a trophy or two. Mm. But what matters here is the Premier League trophy. Yeah. And but, Conte, but... Conte can't bring that. Let me tell you something. You bring in Conte into that team, mm. Fred is never going to play. You bring in Conte into that team, uh, we cannot have uh, Greenwood making all the, all the passes for this. He looks for the ball and scores the, 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 goals. the goals. That is not going to happen. Yeah. So the, the, this club, and I'll tell you, uh, Robert, just like, like Barcelona. Barcelona is a fan-based club, so as yes. to say. Manchester United is mighty. Fan base wise and every other in every other section, we cannot have uh, the board not listening to the to the fans yes. across the globe. Mm -hmm. They have to sit down. They have to make a decision. They have to bring down Oleguna. We cannot afford to go into December with this man. Carragher said it. The former Liverpool player said that uh, the old boys are protecting uh, Solskjaer. The likes of uh, Neville. Uh, Skulls. They come out and say he's good. And but when Mourinho was in, they were bashing him left, right and center. Yeah. And Karaga said it, these boys need to tell him the truth and need to say the truth and this guy should be out of Manchester United. Who could be your next pick for the Manchester United job? Uh, personally, uh, if I'm asked, I'll, I'll go for Conte, uh, simply because he understands the Premier League yes. and he's a proven winner. Not only at Chelsea, he went, look at what he did in, at Inter Milan last season. Uh, you need that, you need that yes. win. Because already, if you look at the Manchester United team, it's a team that doesn't have an identity. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had so many coaches with so many different styles that yes. uh, we were thinking that Ole is going to bring in the Manchester United way. But he's not a winner. We have to accept it. He's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. But we don't need a good guy. We need somebody to win trophies. Yes. And we are yearning for that uh, uh, Premier League trophy. We are yearning for that Champions League trophy that we have not seen in a very long time. Uh, Conte will come in, will make changes, will make the system be become better. There will be, of course, there will be casualties in terms of players. We have, uh, you, you have a problem when, uh, as he talks, uh, she talks about uh, uh, Fred, you have a problem when you are relying on Fred uh, as a midfield anchor. Then you know your team has a problem uh, because uh, he's unreliable. Yes. And uh, maybe what happened with Pogba was a statement to the coach. Because if you look at that red card, the challenge was unnecessary. Yes. There was no danger. You are in the opponent's half. Mm -hmm. In fact, in the opponent's 18. Why are you going for a, a, a two-footed challenge? That's a message that Pogba is sending to the to the to the to the to the, uh, to the manager. Yes. And the manager, if they are beaten today, he will lose the confidence of the players. Already, there are players who have 
who, who don't rank him highly because he's won. I've already lost confidence. Yeah, he's won in nothing. Him. Yeah. And you see now, if the beating continues, he'll lose the dressing room, and that will be it. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, Robert, yeah. I, I listened to, to Skulls speak. Yes. Uh, among the boys of the class of 1992, I listened to Skulls speak uh, after we won. I yes. will put in quotes won uh -huh. the game at Atlanta because obviously we scraped through that game. Yes. And he said that if this is, the, this is how you're going to be playing in big games uh, in, against Liverpool, against Tottenham, against Manchester City, the derby is looming, uh, you're going to be beaten 3 nil by halftime. Yes. And by the time you're going into second half, that's a game gone. Yeah. And these are the kind of words we need to be getting out there. Uh, I don't know, where, where did our Nicky Bat go? Where, 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 where is... is all these boys, where are they? We need people to speak for the club because apparently the board cannot listen to the yeah. fans. Yeah, because we cannot afford to go another season trophyless. Yes. We cannot afford to be scraping through games like this. Uh -huh. So uh, what I'm saying is if we win today, my God, I hope we lose. Because if we win, <laughs> that, means, that means that Ole Gunnar's yes. job will still stand. Will still going stand. Into, so you need to Champions lose League. today. We need to lose. So yeah. that you can we need go. to lose. <laughs> so that the, the board can sit down and see, you know what, this is serious. Yes. We better, somebody better get us counsel on the phone. If, if we, we just need to lose today's game. <laughs> it is the touch right here on Y254, Moreno Mudoni, Erika Gaza here for the touch line. Arsenal is still one nil ahead against Leicester City. City, and we've got some of the matches coming your way at uh, five. We've got Burnley versus Brentford. Liverpool will be well playing at home against Brighton, and then Man City will be playing at home against Crystal Palace. Chelsea will be away at Newcastle, and then Watford against Southampton. Then in the late kickoff will be Tottenham versus Manchester United. Eric, one team. The beginning of the season. We have got now nine matches. I think nine matches yeah. to go at the beginning of the season. No one ranked Arsenal. No one thought Arsenal was a good team and all that. Manchester United started on a high. Nine matches in, level on point. Today, Arsenal is winning against Leicester. They seem to be a pretty good team at the moment. Arsenal have uh, Ateta. Yes. And if you look at Ateta tactically, he's worked under one of the best coaches that we have, that is Pepe. Yes. So tactically, uh, uh, if you compare Olegana and, uh, and uh, Ateta, Ateta is superior, yes. tactically. It's only that Arsenal didn't have the right players. Uh -huh. And uh, they don't have uh, leaders. Uh -huh. And they become a, it becomes a problem when they trail. They cannot come from down and win a game. Uh -huh. But if they start by scoring, you are in trouble. Yes. You saw what happened at Aston Villa uh, uh, last, la, last Friday. Today they have already scored. So they, they are very high chances, chances that they will win that game. Yes. But he still needs maybe one signing or two signings away mm -hmm. from challenging maybe for the Premier League. But mm -hmm. he's been building momentum. And when a team is building momentum, yeah. they become relatively unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Because the players continue believing in game after game. When you win that one game, you believe the next game you're going to win. And in the next game, you, you, you approach the next game more confident. Yes. He started slow. Uh, he started the season by being beaten 2-0 by, by yeah. Brentford. Brentford yeah. And then he, he came up, up, up. And you've seen what he's doing. Yeah. He's, uh, uh, before the Leicester game, we were at level at points. Uh -huh. Right now, as it stands, he's at 17. We are at 14. 14. Yes. And we lose today. I don't, yeah. know we'll, we, I don't know where we'll walk. Yeah. You and, don't want to have that scenario. <laughs> and one advantage that Arsenal is obviously having, uh, yes. they're still in, 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 the, in the Carabao Cup, uh, their win uh, over, the, over the week. Uh, obviously, that will boost their moods more, uh, going into the quarterfinals of that competition. Uh, then, the lack of Champions League for them uh, means that they have more time to prepare to for, mm. for these games. Yes. Uh, if they play today and they have the entire week to rest, and a team like Manchester United will go to struggle with Atlanta, and that means when they come again for the next for the next uh, for the next cup, they are going to be obviously more fresh. Uh, I like I like uh, individual players at Arsenal, and you know they, they, they seem to have a very brilliant attitude. Uh, Smith Rowe, he's one of the good boys that we have there. Yes. Uh, the they, Saka, the, the Saka, Odegaard. You know it's exciting. Arsenal have exciting prospects, yes. but do not write off uh, Leicester. Even if Arsenal is leading, yes. uh, they are playing against one of the most lethal strikers in the Premier League right now, Jamie Vardy.
somebody. I do not to repeat. It's God, I think I can. Nine I times do, I do not Arsenal. need to repeat what Jamie Vardy did to Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> that is a they also have a young kid called Daka, who, uh, the Zambian yeah. kid. I'm telling you, they have, they, they have, they have uh, Jamie Vardy, they have um, Daka. Daka. Yeah, uh, I mean, in, where I come from, Robert, yes. um, Daka loosely translates to mad. Matope. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Daka ali tupaka matope. <laughs> but if Arsenal uh, yes. defenders are not very careful, mm -hmm. they cannot afford to relax their one nil up. But uh, Vadi makes goals out of nothing. Out of nothing. Yes. Out of nothing. So, if they do not uh, take care of, of, of Vadi, they do not take care of, of, of Daka. I don't know yeah, whether they have James, a good James Madison is of playing. Tillman. Have Tillman, 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 Tillman is uh, quite good. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is a game, and I'm, I'm actually very jealous of everybody who is watching this game, obviously. It, it, it is exciting. It is as exciting you, you'll as... You'll get to watch um, the second half. Arsenal <laughs> dance. <laughs> yeah, big one there. Arsenal still leading Leicester by one goal to nil. Nine minutes gone in that game. Burnley will be coming up, but we've got Liverpool win against Manchester United. Big statement there. But it also showed the class and the difference between Liverpool and Manchester United. And today, against Brighton, you expect a tough win for them? Yeah, it will be, it will be tough because uh, Brighton also knocks the ball around. Eh? Yes. Uh, they are not a pushover. And you can see in the, on, the, on, the, on the log, they are uh, on, the, on the top six. And uh, they gave Manchester City a hard time, yes. despite the fact that they lost. Um, but what Liverpool has perfected and what Klopp has perfected, he has perfected the 4-3-3. He has done it over and over. And you saw the Manchester United game. He made two changes. Bring in Jota, rest Mane, bring in Keita. Keita ran havoc before the injury. Yes. In fact, the injury was a blessing in this case because uh, he, he, he really, it was something that was not expected. Yes. With his change of pace, moves the ball very fast, he will slow it down. And um, Klopp has done that over the years. Yes. And you see, uh, great managers have an identity. If you look at Klopp, he has an identity. He plays heavy metal. He plays. He will play the ball, move the ball very fast oh. to the space. And uh, if you look at Pep, Pep will move the ball uh, uh, within the two players, but also fast towards. You have to have that. And um, if you look at what Liverpool did last weekend, they were making a statement. We are in this thing, and we are going for the 20th uh, league title. Yes. And, uh, and uh, you see, they are up there with Chelsea, they are up there with Man City as favourites. Yeah. You cannot hide from that fact. And uh, you see, the experienced managers. And uh, before, look at what Watford did. Remember the Watford game against Everton? Yes. Ganzi won 5 nil. Claudio, Claudio Ranieri. <laughs> Everton were leading. Two yes, nil. Yeah. He came and won. Claudio yeah. Ranieri. Experience. Experience. He knows. Yeah. He knows. He's a seasoned yeah. winner. Mm -hmm. he, he assembled the, 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 the Leicester team. Yes. And uh, won with it. Mm -hmm. he, he went and came back. And you see what he's able to do because of he's able to manage the 90 minutes. Yes. He knows if this opponent makes this move, I am supposed to make this one. Yeah. Our coach sits on the bench. And, uh, and uh, just sits and then waits for the 80th minute and makes a few changes here that don't. <laughs> we, are in, we are in trouble. Uh, if you read war history, yes. they talk about generals yes. and some of the best leaders when it came to war. Napoleon was one of them and he usually said, war is not won on the day, on, on the, the day you yeah. go to war. Yes. It is won when Before. you plan for war. the war. And Napoleon was good in that. Yes. And Manchester United, Ole Gunnar doesn't seem to be doing that. You are talking of Smith Rowe. Arsenal is already leading 2-0. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, 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 I told you, the momentum, the momentum is building. You see, yeah. when you are winning, yeah. when you are winning, uh -huh. every, in every aspect of life, uh -huh. even when you get a good win, uh -huh. even your walking style changes, you work with more swagger. Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you have money in your pocket, you feel like... Yeah, the boss. So when you are winning, um, yeah. that, that, that comes in. Yes. And, uh, it be, you become unstoppable because if they win against Leicester today, yeah. uh, the next game they will win. Yeah. And you see that momentum, they will definitely be on the top four. Yeah. And that comes in. And their fans are loud. And they are arrogant. And they will be <laughs> loud today. What are you saying, Mori? I wanted to add a point on to, on to Liverpool because yes. obviously it is a team that you cannot ignore. Um, 
it has brilliant players. I don't know whether anybody can argue that Mohamed Salah right now is the best player in the world as we speak. Yes. Uh, but you realize that that player is not about individual. I mean, that, that team is not about individuals. The style of play for Klopp is ginger pressing. Uh, mm -hmm. You lose the ball, you go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the group, the 11 players play as a team. Yes. Uh, from, the, from the goalkeeper to the defenders, everybody. Uh, if you remember how we considered our first goal, it was Keita Scoring who was yes. providing the assist. The it assist. was Salah. Yes. It's been provided by Salah. So um, it doesn't matter who comes into this field of play when it is a club side. What matters is that whoever is called upon will represent uh, as 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 expected, it, it, they fit into a structure. If it's a 4-3-3, uh, and Milner starts, Milner actually knows where to, to, to sit. Yeah. If, if Milner gets injured and they bring in uh, Henderson, Henderson knows what to do. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you can say that for Manchester United. Because the coach has a philosophy. Exactly, what yes. philosophy? Ours do you know, have. Eric, we do not uh, appear to have any identity <laughs> exactly. at the moment. We, we, do not to to, we do not appear to have any structure. And like Klopp, because for Klopp, he can... He can, uh, he can get the team sheet out, he knows when the, the, the players need to, to be substituted, mm -hmm. he can go and sit at the bench. Uh, mm -hmm. He yes. can actually, if, if Klopp was ever to be pro problematic and is given a red card and goes to the, to the trenches, you will not be surprised that his team will still carry on as, played, uh, as yeah. planned because this is a team that plays um, not as individuals, not as Cristiano Ronaldo, not as Greenwood, I don't mention them, but as a team. As a and team. That, is, that is why it is bringing in these results. I do not expect Liverpool to be troubled uh, so much uh, by, these, by, these, by this game they are, they are going against into. Brighton. Uh, against Brighton. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Graham Potter has done a brilliant job with, with, with his team. Um, Top 10, right now I think they're, yes. they're at position 8 earlier. This is a team that is not supposed to be in the top 10 anyway, but it is there. So uh, they will be a bit problematic, but for me, if Salah plays, if Mane plays, then you expect always that they are going to get a breakthrough. So what we're betting Liverpool, Kichwa. <laughs> <laughs> But we bet Liverpool, get you. Here we go, guaranteed. <laughs> but uh, we got also another team that lost a coach, Steve Bruce, formerly of Manchester, Manchester United captain, actually losing his job last week, and now they are playing against Chelsea also at 5 p.m. Can't be a win for Chelsea, this one. It will be a win for Chelsea, mm. uh, but not as easy as they had last weekend, mm. scoring seven goals. <laughs> yes. Uh, but you see, uh, what scares you about the Chelsea team is that... Uh, this is a team that can score seven goals without a striker on the field. They didn't uh -huh. have yes. Lukaku, they didn't have yeah. Timo Wana, yeah. and they still pumped seven. And come midweek, they still scored four or five, I think. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can see the, the, the level of confidence in that team, yeah. that anybody can score. And you've seen their goals even coming from defenders, their goals coming from the midfield, and, uh, and that is the kind of morale you want in a team. And today they are going to, to, to want to keep up with the pace because they know Liverpool uh, is likely to win, Man City is likely to win, so they have to win today. And uh, the sucking of Steve Bruce was inevitable. Mm -hmm. After uh, I didn't, The only thing I didn't expect it coming that soon. But uh, he was to go. With all that money being pumped in, he was to go. He yes. could not manage that. And uh, uh, today, Newcastle are going to lose again. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, they are going to lose again. Until they make uh, maybe some, they bring in some buys in, in January, they are going to have a tough time. Because also, Steve Bruce was re really popular with the players. If you've, if you've heard Maxim's talk, you've heard their players talk, they, they, they really loved him. Yeah. And that kind of destabilizes the team. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it it will be a win for 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 for, for Chelsea today. Yeah. As I, as I look at that. Oh, so, big one there. We got Newcastle, Chelsea, then Liverpool, Brighton, Man City, Crystal Palace. Just a game where Man City might run Crystal Palace to the ground. Former, when we were used to watch Crystal Palace, I used to love the former coach Roy Hodgson. Mm -hmm. He used to go against Guardiola. Guardiola gave him the respect. He deserved. He could even go and sit in his bench. They could talk while the game is going on. And uh, but Patrick Vieira is going to suffer today. No, I don't <laughs> think so. not that much. Because again, uh, if you look at Patrick Vieira. Is uh, a man who has studied uh, 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 Guardiola very well. Uh -huh. uh, he was uh, managing the, the the other Man City uh -huh. in, in, in the US. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, so and uh, you you saw what he did to Ateta last last, last time. Yes. Uh, these are they play similar football. Mm -hmm. And you find that uh, any time 
Guardiola goes against such kind of a team, he, he, it becomes a problem for him. Yes. Uh, they may Man City may win, but it won't be that easy as everybody expects, uh, because uh, during Roy Hodgson's time. Uh, Crystal Palace was struggling with discipline because Roy Hodgson mm -hmm. was an old man, so yes. he wasn't tough on them. Uh, Vieira has brought in that discipline. Mm -hmm. They are really disciplined. The cards are not there. Yes. And uh, he has gotten a well-balanced way to start Zaha and uh, Benteke uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 in, in the first 11. Yes. So today, it, it may not be that easy. And bearing in mind that Man City also played over the, the midweek, yes. uh, they, it may not be easy for them. Yeah, tough one there that will be up and let's finish off with Tottenham Manchester United you have already predicted that Tottenham will win this one she wants <laughs> you, you Tottenham still, to win. Actually, <laughs> wants actually, Tottenham actually what happens is uh, right. Tottenham is 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 coming into this feeling like it might they might not be the favorite favorite uh, team yeah. to win it yes I uh, remember uh, Tottenham have have problems of their own uh, Nuno is not uh, performing well I think so far it has already lost four of their He's also derbies. might lose uh, his it job might also. yes his job is also on the line the, the uh, it's not yes. popular with the players these are London clubs so yeah. uh, obviously what needs to happen uh, these are two coaches that both need to win yes uh, so for me uh, Manchester United need to lose so that Ole Gunnar can lose his job that is what needs to happen needs to happen you know uh, this conversation used to happen five years ago <laughs> with Arsenal but you realize that um mm. When when Arsenal went to play uh, Tottenham for the for the London Derby, I think that's when they started their uh, their their current form. And I yes. I'm I'm hopeful that um, we cannot afford to be beaten five 0 by Liverpool and then come today and we again afford to get beaten by Tottenham. Yeah. Uh, Tottenham off the field have chaos. Uh, Hurricane has not been has not been on on a very decent form. And yes. this is what I always say. You saw what happened to Messi with Barcelona. If a player submits uh, a request to leave, a transfer request, by all means, let the player leave. leave. Uh, yeah. So you, you have a uh, hurricane here. He has openly said that, I want to go. Uh, but Daniel Levy and, and, and his guys do not want to let him go. Yes. Uh, so what are the repercussions? You have a player slacking in, in, in every aspect. He has not been firing as they expected. Uh, so. If Tottenham can get Hurricane uh, working, uh, they can get uh, Huming Son on form, uh, it can be good. Uh, I remember they, they, they beat Manchester City, I guess, in the opening opening, yes. opening yes. fixture. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's not all, it's not all gloom for, for, for Tottenham. It's not all gloom for Manchester United. Uh, but this is the one game that we need to win so that at least we can get our momentum going into the Champions League. Uh, we have extremely huge games coming on. Uh, we play Tottenham, we play Atlanta. Uh, we play the Manchester City W. Yeah. Uh, then obviously we play Chelsea. We play Arsenal uh, in, in in December in second. It's going to be chaotic, and yeah. results need to start streaming in today. Today. So. Um, as much as I want, I would want Manchester United to lose this game. Uh, they still want it to they, win. They better win. <laughs> they better win. Eric, give us your last word on this game. I think uh, on the game, the players, not only on the coach, but the players will also want uh, to come out and say, uh, hey, look here, because for the fans. Yes. Uh, because they also have a, a reputation to keep. And uh, we have big game players who don't like losing. Fernando, yeah. uh, to, uh, uh, Ronaldo doesn't like losing. Yes. Uh, we have... Uh, uh, Greenwood, we have uh, Rashford who has come in uh -huh. and he's trying to adapt into the game. Yes. So I think the players would like to come out and put a statement out there. Uh, we cannot lose two in a row or three in a row. Yeah. And uh, we have to, to do it for the fans. And you saw uh, how, fans, how the fans were so frustrated. And I listened to Cristiano Ronaldo uh, after the game and he said, uh, we let the fans down. The yeah. fans were amazing. Yes. Uh, we let them down. So I don't think the players today would want to let the fans down again. So they will give it, they will put in a, a good shift. Uh, I, I have seen rumors about the, the starting lineup. Uh, it's a good, it's a good, <laughs> at least uh, Varane is coming back into yes. the team, uh, bring stability at the back. Mm -hmm. And I saw uh, Karo Radul saying uh, uh, it will be El Sakiko. Or head of the coach <laughs> may be sacked <laughs> in this game, <laughs> depending yeah. how it goes. But I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a, a Manchester United, a 2 1 win for Manchester United. Well, that's where we leave it here on the touchline. There has been fun here on the fans zone. Erika Ganya, always here with us. Moreno Mudoni also making a comeback. Let's say good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254.
Y254. Imagine. To get Philippians 1-6 as your skis are tuned, dial star 811.